Yo, what's up guys? Games Engineer here with another episode of Minecraft Story Mode. I don't really know where we can go from the last time. It was a pretty satisfying ending with episode 4. But now let's go to episode 5 and see what the story holds. Oh, they're doing the intro right off the bat this time. What are we doing? That's what I'm wondering. That's a beautiful sword. Is that a different sword? Points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? Order of the Stone? It's time to get some glory. For, for glory! glory! We're the real Order of the Stone. Not some phonies like the last guys. But at least they gave the people hope. I know we all yelled glory out there, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I was hoping for treasure. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. Hmm. Is that a switch or it's a four gutter? Let's use a lever first. Alright, so. Let's. I think we have to activate all the levers for the door. Let's go look at that four gutter again. So it has to go in there. Huh. Do you have any ideas, Petra? There's that lava channel. No clues. Jeez, this episode's starting off actually really well. Jeez. Quite impressed. Let's see hey, Olivia. Any yeah? Any ideas for how to fix this? Well, these channels of lava are blocked in strategic locations by those sticky pistons. Unblock them, and I'm guessing something cool will happen. Thanks, Olivia. So, what kind of treasure do you hope we find in here? Well, I've been working on a build that could use another couple dispensers, but some cocoa beans would be cool, too. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Never doubted you for a minute. Thanks, Olivia. Let's try to use this one. Blocked again! Maybe if we do it both at the same time. Let's hey, Axel? Axel. What you need, buddy? 
Axel, what do you think of the situation? Um, I don't know about the situation. I kind of do more blowing stuff up. So, if you need someone to do stuff like that, I'm totally your guy. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on this. Sounds good, dude. So, I'm thinking we are gonna have to activate the switch at the same time, possibly. Is that there before? Hi, Petra. Who's Petra? <laughs> Get in. You got me, fam. Thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch-pulling stuff. But I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to solve this. Huh. So let's try the middle one first. Hey, it's working! Oh, wait. No, it's not. Never mind. Let's try this one first. Try the last one and this one in the middle. It's worth a shot. Try this again. God. Of course, it's gotta give us a tricky puzzle now. would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. I know, right? Me too. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. Wow, yeah, that feels like it was, I don't know, a million years ago. We packed a lot in since then. Yeah. And to think... That was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought Wither Storms, hung out with Enderman, <laughs> reunited the Order. So crazy. We've done a lot in our adventures since then. We've come a long way. Not only in experience, but in maturity as well. Bingo! They may be trapped. All right, let's see what we've got. Useful if we run into Enderman. And it looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's. What are those? It looks like enchanted fucking steel. 
What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. That glow, is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Well, I have definitely never seen flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. Did it summon all those zombies? Looks like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? You ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Uh, I that think you mean the whip. warrior whip. Obviously. Warrior whip, go! Come on, Jesse, make it good. Just like the crack. You guys, that was amazing. Okay, okay. It wasn't bad. Come on, guys, let's get out of here. I tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I think I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. Way ahead of you on that one, Axel. Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? <laughs> Looks a little, uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Shut up, you idiot! Ugh, what grief are you here to give us now? Look who's talking! So what are you ocelots doing here, anyway? The Ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Sorry, boss. Wow, you guys are terrible at naming. That's a dumb name. <laughs> Says the heroes that just called their group the New Order of the Stone. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... ...he wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Mmm... No. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Yeah, Lucas is a hero. There's more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blaze rods. On, you don't have no shame anything. in being second-rate aid. Not everyone can do what the Order of the Stone can. <laughs> well, that's, that's just what I expect from someone as small-minded as you, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Come on. <gasps> some hero you are, Jesse. Yeah, and some hero you are. Fine. Coward. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rod! Ooh, I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Okay, I'm officially starting to get a bad feeling about Aiden. Threatening people, scary enchantments on his sword. I hope he doesn't hurt anyone. Yeah. Yeah, we need to keep an eye out. Man. And all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. Yes. He might so know something about, about it. it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Come on, Aiden's just jealous. Isn't that obvious? He sees us with our fancy armor, cool treasure, and he wishes he had it too. Yeah. I guess so. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep, New Order of the Stone is back in town. It looks freaking awesome! Welcome back! See that? Jesse high-fived me! Me! It actually hurt a little bit. Happy to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. Oh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh, not my fault! Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining! What are the Ivor pathetic building? injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard! Okay. Man, Ivor, this is really cool. Why, well, thank you, Jesse. So good to finally see someone with some vision. Jesse, seriously? You can't let him keep this up. Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own. With loads of lava pouring off it. <laughs> Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, Ivor you made a killer sick. house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! Ivor, I like building as much as the next person, but there have oh, to yeah. be rules. Well, Can we have it? to tear it down. No. We can't let that monstrosity stand. <laughs> it's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house. We need to show it the same respect that we would show a house 
It's not dripping with lava. Yeah. Leave it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? My lava house. Long live lava! <laughs> Thanks, Jesse! That's Pretty right. Well my Keep walking. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha uh, ha. Uh, I haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Ivor, we found something in that temple you told us about. It's something really what? cool, too. You did? <laughs> yes! Great to see you again! Let's do lunch! I'll bring the carrots! There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. Okay, and bring thanks, the Ivor. thing you found! Going from being a villain to one of our closest allies. That's what I find Well, well. if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But, like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand. And you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Nice yeah. work today, guys. Yeah, not bad, right? Mm, it's like we should do this more often or something. Later, guys. Come on, let's go find Ivor. This place is really shaping up. It is a very nice place. It looks beautiful. Is that Lucas? Whoa! Lucas? Yeah. I don't believe it! Oh, hey guys! You have some pretty cool stuff oh. in here. Bump my mic. Hey, Lucas! Great to see you! It's been a while. I really missed you guys. We missed you, too. You have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. All the room. How are you doing? I really, really miss him. Every morning I wake up and just for a minute... I can pretend that he's just in another room or rooting around outside looking for carrots. And then every morning I get to remember all over that he's gone. I'm so sorry. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. Oh, it's what about is it, this Lucas? weird run-in I had with Aiden. Oh, I hate that guy. Uh-huh, yeah, we saw him too. The Order of the Stone and the Blaze Rods are just as friendly as ever. That's an understatement. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot, the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten Wonder why he's so meaner. Jealous. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Jealous? Why? He thinks you're a big bully, Jesse. Looting and keeping all the good stuff for yourself. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. It's wow. It's steel. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yo! Yeah! Oh! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the Jeez, greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... That you're actually holding this. Okay. I mean, it's got some sort of enchantment on it, but it's just a flint and steel, right? Jesse, that's not just some sort of enchantment. That glow, that enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. What? Dramatic. Wow, I didn't know there was a time before the Order of the Stone. It's incredible, isn't it? I haven't even gotten to the best part! You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource! What it's a beautiful Eversource. sight! Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. What? The Ever... what now? The Eversource! Are you, uh, gonna actually explain it any more than that? Cypher, the Eversource okay. is said to be an object of incredible power, possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact 
that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Ooh. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place. Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. Sure okay, so this flint and steel might have this old builder enchantment, but how do you know that's where this Eversource thing is? I've traveled near and far, Jesse, and that temple, that flint and steel, is the only firm proof that I've ever seen of the old builders. That does seem like a pretty good bet. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. I have Wait, about this. he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off. Nope. You're yep. coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Oh. Not my top choice for adventuring companion. Yeah, hey, but he, you can't argue that when it comes to all this ancient history and treasure, Ivor knows a lot. Sure, that's true. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! He just he hasn't been out really gets on my nerves sometimes. In a very long time. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Ivor, it's nice to see you smiling. I'm not smiling. <laughs> he likes to hide his, emo his emotions. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, right. long guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super excited, Ivor. All right, I guess we're going to have to open this in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.